In RStudio, you can easily create an R script by going to the File menu, then selecting New R Script. This will bring up a blank document in the Source pane. In your R script, you'll notice the number 1. This indicates that this is line number 1 in the file. You can begin typing your commands in this file. Let's begin by writing our name in our R script. In front of our name, we'll use the pound sign. This indicates that our name isn't executable by R. R simply ignores this line, which coincidentally is number 1 in our R script. Below our name, we can begin typing our code. At this point, I encourage you to practice creating a few variables and performing some basic mathematical functions. When you're done, save your R script. R scripts have the file extension .r. Packages. All the functions that you'll want to use in R come in the form of packages. A package is just a big collection of functions and other objects that are grouped together under a common name. Some packages are pre-installed in R. To learn which packages are installed in your version of R, type the library function. Let's install a package that allows us to read in a CSV file. The package we're going to install is called Read R. Simply select the Packages tab in the lower right-hand frame. This is called the Files frame. Here you're going to search for the Read R package. Then you're going to install it. R is made for working with data. To work with external data sets, we need to import them in R. You can import Excel files, Minitab, SPSS, and many more file types. First, we need to enable the Read R package to provide us with the tools, which are the functions to import our data. To do this, we're going to look at our list of installed libraries and check the Read R package. You'll notice in the console that this automatically executed the command library read R. To read our data in, we'll use the read underscore CSV function from the read R package. Here's a quick demonstration. Simply navigate to the workspace pane, select import dataset, next select from CSV file. Here, you navigate to the file you want to upload. In this case, we're using a file called Sidewalk Cafes. Upon importing your data set, you're going to want to make sure that the first row, which is the variable name for each column, is imported as that variable name rather than as data or values for that column. In this case, we need to check first row as names, then keep the rest of the default options and select import. After importing your data, you can see the data appears in the source window. To manipulate or interrogate data, we need to use functions. We'll use a function that already exists in your base R. It's called summary. Summary is a generic function. We'll use it on our sidewalk data set to determine the number of observations or rows. Those variables or columns that have NA or null values and the min and max values for each column. We'll also be able to know the data type for each column or variable in our data set. 